Thank you very much, uh, Ben. Uh, uh, firstly, I would like to, uh, of course, thank our host, uh, Jaime Garcia Legat. Uh, I can't uh, say too much to thank President Ethnar for being here. That I've had, uh, I've been in Spain since 1991. I've always had tremendous admiration uh, for President Ethnar. And now I have to add to admiration to be very, very grateful for his, uh, his uh, generosity for being here in this event and guaranteeing that it would be a great, uh, a great success. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. I, I, would, uh, I would rather have made you all suffer with my own particular version of Spanish, but since I'm representing, uh, uh, representing uh, an American institution, uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to speak in English and very briefly. Or should I say speak in American? Because after, speak, after Ben, uh, Ben does speak English. It's extremely better than I could ever dream of, of doing so. But I, I'd like to speak in American, uh, make just, just a few points, because uh, really this is not my event, and it's not even the event of Republicans abroad. It's the event of conservatives abroad sponsored by the tremendous uh, generosity of, of, of President Nair and the institution of FIES uh, to guarantee the success of this kickoff. But I, if I could just say a few words, uh, I would like to say that I know these three countries, I know these three countries uh, uh, in a different sense than perhaps than, than uh, Ben, particularly Spain and the United States. Uh, to me, it's something extremely, uh, extremely personal. Uh, my, my wife is Spanish, my, my daughter is Spanish, my other two children are Spanish. Our, we have a binational home, as many of my American colleagues here uh, also have binational homes. And there, the point I want to make is that it's not any conflict to be uh, a binational Spanish-American home. Uh, these are two of the greatest nations uh, in the history of the world. The concepts behind uh, these nations are, are, are very similar. As, as Ben uh, said, I, I knew Spain in, uh, I first came to Spain in 91, and I had the tremendous uh, good fortune to be uh, hired here by a, a, a financial firm. In those years, in 92, there was the great boom, uh, the 93, 94, but there were t then there was the recession, and terrible things were going on. And you would pick up the paper and see uh, one scandal after another, and particularly as from an American uh, perspective, what is going on here? Uh, those, we all know what happened uh, with that. That situation got worse and worse uh, until a certain, uh, a certain uh, campaign, the campaign in 96, where there was a change of government to, uh, to, uh, led by President Aznar. And it was the change of day and night. We went from a, from a country where Spain wasn't going to enter the euro, because this country is not as good as, as France and Germany. We have to be second rate to being in the first rate. Uh, we, we, we went to being, Spain being in the first league of, uh, of countries in the world. Uh, that, that continued through, uh, well, which reaching the point, of course, where inclu including the, the President of the United States uh, uh, would, would ask the President of Spain correctly for his advice on, on matters. This is a matter of, of public record. I, I doubt that takes place at this time. In, in, that all came to an end very, very, very abruptly in 2004, and we all know the events that took place in, in those days. Uh, one thing I would like to uh, highlight, though, is a, is a particular day, and also on a personal note, uh, there, th that uh, the the uh, even before even before becoming uh, president, even before be uh, becoming president, when he was head of the opposition, uh, the 19th of April of 1995, for example, is a personal day I remember because I remember waking up that morning, turning on the, on the radio. You could guess it was the cope as usual, and I'm, my wife in in tears because there had been a, a, a terrorist attack that tried to assassinate uh, 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 then Mr. Avnog before being president. I, one has to wonder, would the enemies of freedom, the people that would turn us into slaves, choose their victims very carefully? And even before becoming president, uh, they, they, tried to make a, they tried to end the life of President Avnog, well knowing, well knowing what would happen if he did become president. And indeed, uh, indeed the, they were put against the courts. But anyway, from, 2000 and, from 2004 forward, as Ben has mentioned, I'm not here to, uh, uh, in any capacity to criticize uh, President Obama, and it's too soon as well. And there are many things President Obama is doing well, many things I may not uh, agree with. But the, the main point, though, is, uh, for me, it's freedom and ideas. And, if, and the, the, I'm tremendously concerned about the constriction of our, of our, of our freedom. The, the need of consensus. I mean, from one issue to another, uh, the the echo uh, the echo terrorism, for example, the the echo fascism, uh, the global warming. My, my wife is a is a scientist, uh, a doctorate in chemistry, did Fulbright in the U.S. There is reason to doubt 
uh, the, you know, the global warming story as they tell us. It may be right, may be wrong, but there's reason to doubt. But we've reached a point in this society now that if you doubt the consensus that's being imposed on us by the left, well, you're, you're a radical, you're a fascist, I can't even talk to you. I find this a very frightening situation. It's the same in the U.S., it's the same in Spain, it's the same in the U.K. With the, 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 court, the interaction of, of, event, of uh, the media, it's more and more the case. On the ecological front, even more frightening is on the, uh, on the issue of, of, of religious freedom, the threat from... I'm not against any uh, religion or any group. I'm in favor of freedom. I'm in favor of... Uh, I would like my daughter to be able to walk through the street without wearing what she wants to wear, without being afraid somebody's going to throw acid at her or, or, or uh, assault her, if we, as takes place in many other countries. So uh, one of the reasons that I uh, volunteer my time for this work is that we need to all be aware of the erosion of freedom that's taking place. It's the ideas. We need to be able to fight for these ideas. And, and, and to end with one, uh, with, a, with a quote from one of the great heroes of the left, uh, a person to this very day, millions of people voted uh, yesterday and they'll vote in the future for, uh, um, for, them, for parties that still do not renounce the ideas of this individual. Uh, the, the, this, this person uh, said, Ideas are more powerful than guns. We wouldn't let our enemies have guns. Then why should we let them have ideas? And that, precisely the thought of consensus, uh, thought is, is, is a huge danger facing us today. The person who said that, by the way, was uh, the greatest mass murder in the history of humanity was Joseph Stalin. So uh, I, I'd like to uh, thank you all for your, for your time. Thank you all for, for, for coming here. And ask each of us, whether you be British citizens, American citizens, or, more, or Spanish citizens, keep, keep in mind the, the need to fight for our freedoms and continue to have the ability to, uh, to disagree with the consensus uh, idea. And individual human liberty, individual, not the group collective rights, single person uh, rights. And that uh, was embodied by the, uh, the presidency of, of, uh, of, of President Ethnar. And once again, I'm extremely uh, grateful for his uh, assistance. Thank you, sir.